what's up what's up you guys can see what we're doing today based on the thumbnail and the title i picked up a pair of gazelles from the gucci adidas collaboration super dope collaboration i didn't think i was going to pick up anything then i went to the mall and to my local gucci they had a few of the colorways there in limited sizing i picked up the green pair which you guys will see me style I have five fits for you guys today just to go over sizing quickly because the sizing was a little bit weird on these um what's listed on gucci's website is the adidas size i ended up going with a nine plus or a nine and a half which gucci says that is the equivalent to their size nine or a italian 43 which in u.s sizing is a size 10 here so for adidas that's a nine plus nine and a half which they're basically saying is it an equivalent to a u.s size 10 or size 43, which is my true to size. So I got five looks for you guys today. So let's go ahead and get into it. First fit, short sleeve camp collar shirt I have on is from Zara. This one's in white and like a mint green kind of color. It's pretty subtle. There's a little bit of a pattern going on here. Um, this is a very like green tonal look without being too matchy matchy, which is pretty much what I prefer. And on the bottom, I styled these plenty of times. This is the Engineered Garments FA cargo pant, I believe. This this pair of pants is like a cheat code. Literally goes with like everything and every shoe in my closet. Can't say enough good things about that. Just a really clean but simple fit. Obviously, if it gets too hot, you can just kind of unbutton the camp collar shirt. And then I just have a regular white tank underneath. For look two, we have more engineered garments. Um, this is a navy trucker jacket and shorts uh, set. They also carry the pants, but I decided to rock with the shorts just because I'm in Florida and it's hot as hell down here. Not much to say, just a really simple, clean fit with clean lines. Again, like the first fit, simple white tank underneath, and I'm good to go. For the shorts, I believe these are called the fatigue shorts. They should be available on a couple different websites. So everything that's still available, I'll link down below. And for the next fit, outfit number three, I went with the same FA Cargo Pants by EG. On the top, I went with a light wash denim jacket. This jacket is from Abercrombie. And then again, underneath that, just a simple white tank. Really love how relaxed this particular fit is in the cut of the jacket and the pants. Just gives it a really casual feel. And then at the end, as an extra option, threw on a bucket hat from Stussy. Look number four, I have a burgundy hoodie. And then the Uniqlo U collab with Christophe Lemaire is the pants. I believe this was a call to work pant. I'll link that in the description as well if it's available, but it's been a little while since those came out. A hoodie and some wide pants. I mean, if this isn't like a skater uniform, I don't know what it is. Super simple, something you could just throw on any day. Outfit number five. I mean, can you even call this styling? I really just threw on a white t-shirt, some ripped distressed light wash jeans and the Sambas and called it a day. Again, talking about everyday type of fit, you can literally throw it on. I mean, this is as basic as it gets, but not trying to do too much with the outfit, really just letting the shoes speak for themselves as a statement piece and everything else is just there to complement. That's the looks I have for you guys today. Super, super happy with these shoes. Are they worth the price? Definitely not worth the price in my opinion. The quality is amazing, but at the end of the day, we're talking about a pair of Adidas Gazelles with some elevated materials, you know what I mean? But honestly, when I tried these on in person, I got to see the quality, the packaging. Um, they did an amazing job on the branding and the logo placement of all the packaging and everything down to the dust bags, which again, if you haven't checked out that short, quick look, I give you guys detailed looks at all the packaging and do an unboxing for you guys in that video. So definitely check that out if you haven't already done so. Gucci also did a really amazing job with the lookbook for this campaign. I mean, Gucci already kills like elevated, sporty kind of prep looks. And these gazelles just looked amazing in all of those shots and the ways that they styled it. So honestly, a really versatile shoe. I mean, that's why this model and other models like this like the Gazelle, the Samba, et cetera, from Adidas are considered pretty much classic at this point. 
I mean, obviously a really trendy model along with, like I said, the Samba, the Gazelle, a few other Adidas models as well that have been quite popular recently. Let me know what look was you guys' favorite out of the five. Also, I noticed that I don't have any nice socks to wear with these. So let me know also in the comments down below if you guys invest heavily into socks or is it just the plain white and black crew socks and you just call it a day. So definitely let me know. I'm kind of curious how everyone else does it. But at the moment, my sock game is weak, unfortunately. But that's pretty much what I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed recently. More content to come per usual. Thanks for rocking with me. Peace.